hello friends today's agenda is to see how view data works in mvc3 tracer view data is used to pass data from controller to view like view back view data is also used to pass data from controller to view and view back is basically a wrapper around view data and view data is dictionary object that is derived from view data dictionary class its life lies only during current request that means when the controller is called the view data is assigned with the some with some data and the view is rendered now again that controller is called the view data is null so its data persists only for a single request and type casting is required for complex data types now unlike view back type casting is required in case of view data so this is what we know about view data and let's see uh, through code how it works so let's create a new project we choose a application raises syntax and we choose empty application we say ok we add a new controller we name it as view data and the controller is added with default action result method index let's rename it to view data and we'll create a new view add a view corresponding to the section result method we are not using any layout in master pages so we uncheck the checkbox and we say add we get a default view now in the controller let's prepare data to be assigned to view data we create a list of string we say it as cars equal list of cars is ready now we assign to a view data we create a view data and we give a key that is cars now this key is very important as this key helps in identifying which data is assigned to which key and we give assign uh, we assigned a list to this view data now let's see how we can access this in the view we create an unordered, unordered list and we use for each loop to iterate through the list values that is string car and view data and we, the key we use this now it stays it says for each statement cannot operate on variable of type object because object doesn't contain a public definition of getter numerator as discussed earlier view data needs to be type casted so it, we type cast it to its source that is list of string and we display each car in a li tag now let's make a final changes in the global dot ASX. that is our action method is view data and controller is view data and action method is also view data 
Now let's run the application. See, we can see the list of cars here displayed in a live format or list format, an ordered list format. Now let's see how we can populate drop down list using view data. Let's create another view data with different key this time view views bikes we say new array We have array of bikes assigned to view data with key bikes. Now we gonna populate a drop down list with these values. We say drop down list. We gonna use drop down list helper. We give it as, we get give name as bikes and we create a new select list which will contain our view data with the key same as we define in the controller and we are going to type cast to string of array now let's run the application and see whether it works or not Yes, the drop down is populated with the array values. So, by this way, we can use view data and we can pass our data from the controller to the view. So, this is all about view data. Thank you, friends.